welcome back everybody to Tremolo Nights, number 24, I believe. And everyone always clicks off. I look at the, the viewing figures. People usually get about 12 seconds in, and I don't even think that clears the intro. So let me just say, not even getting to the point where I talk about sperm. Just give it a taste. Give it a taste. I'm putting some verbal verbal tapas, you know, of my thoughts. So I'd listen to this whole this whole thing and tell me in the comments why you think that I'm gonna end up dead before the age of 27 or in prison. This there's been a submarine, you've probably heard of this. And it's very funny to um put yourself in that situation when you're a millionaire or a billionaire. But and let's just say who it is. I think this is the work of bin Laden why this thing's gone missing. They dumped that motherfucker at sea and I'm pretty sure he's got on great down there, you know. I don't want to be the guy to say that, but let's just let's just um let's just call it what it is. This is terrorism. And, you know, I do think I don't know if there's a girl on board that shit, but fuck, you gotta think when when they like twelve hours left for oxygen, you you gotta worry for that woman's safety. I mean I mean I would look at the at the old the old man next to me and just start kissing him straight away and you know. Why don't we make a funny out of it? Why don't we all have one big disgusting orgy in the t in the tube, you know, and really send this one out sweet. And let's make it funny. When they eventually, in 3,000 years, pull this little this metal dildo from the bottom of the ocean and crack it open, why don't we look funny? Let's all take our clothes off and let's make them get a bit... Woo, worried. Let's think that something has gone on a little bit paranormal, you know. Why don't we dismember Katie? <laughs> why don't we, uh, why don't you pull all my hair out, I'll bite your knob off, and um, let's have an orgy. And I didn't know how fucking shit real big daddy submarines are. The things that they're using in the, in the, in the army, they only go down 300 meters. Fuck, I've been down there further than, further than that in the fucking hotel swimming pool, boys. I mean, come on, we should be going, we should be trolling the bottom of the sea floor. Do not go gently into the dark. Fuck, what a terrifying experience. I mean, let's just call it a, let's call it a day with the ocean, I think. Let's just, let's just fucking not do that anymore. I mean, it's funny now, the next exhibition's down there. They'll probably be looking at those as well. It'll be like, all right, this is the Titanic, and this is the Titan that also sunk here. Let's just, hey guys, hey human, hey human race, why don't we just stay away from that area? You know, we're not really very good at this this little section of the earth. So I'll say, just keep that, keep that fish. Why don't we just let the fish have it? Why do we want to go down there? All right, listen, they got one of our best ships. They got Leo. Okay, they got Winslet. All right, let's let's let them have it. All right, there's a, there's two Oscars between them. Let's let them let's let them just enjoy that little quadrant without having to go down and 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 look at stuff. Why do we give a shit? We've already looked at it. And let me let me just let me just tell you what this thing looked like. I mean, give me give me three weeks a welder. And 10 grams of weed. And I will be able to build something that, that is very similar to this. And it probably will not lose contact. But, <clears throat> I mean, that's just my uh, that's just my three cents on the whole situation. I'm not really... Uh, I'm not really... Re I like the ocean. I'll be honest. The ocean's been putting in some numbers lately. With, with Between the shark attacks and the people going missing and the kids jumping off cruises and the... Uh, you know, the submarines. I think the ocean's winning at the minute. I mean, Team Ocean is it's kind of running quite far ahead. I thought it'd be so funny to donate sperm. You know, in my head I was thinking, God, I'm only, you know, I'm a monster. You know, I'm a, I'm a dude. I, I want loads of little me's running around that I don't know. And uh, I was searching online for a little bit. You know, I wanted to find the right, the right dealer. I actually, I actually found the right place. It's the hospital, right, where I was born. Actually has a sperm donation clinic in it. So, um, you know, they created a monster. So uh, why not why not go back there and help them create more monsters? But it's, it's so funny. 
you know, like if I, <laughs> the guy that walks in there, if I walked in like shaking everyone's hand, like I've finally got to play for my boyhood club. Like I was born here. I was born here. You know, I'm so, I'm just so, so honored and thrilled to be donating, uh, donating here, like holding up a shirt or like a cup of sperm and getting a picture, signing a contract with the nurses. I signed up uh, on the website, I put my email in and it said, write a little message. So I just put sperm and um, I thought that was so, so funny, but to them it's probably not funny, it's probably just business as usual. So I uh, I got an email from them and as soon as I sent it, as soon as I sent it, I felt sick. <laughs> I felt like I felt like a freak, like a, some sort of creep. I was like, dude, you fucking, you got a porn addiction. I need to sort your life out doing this sort of weird, sh- weird shit. I get a girlfriend and get married, man. I, anyway, I got an email. As soon as I got an email, uh, like this dread filled me. Like, oh my god, oh my god, they're on, they're on to me. They've emailed me back the what I told them to do, and then I kind of ignored it. And it was like a questionnaire to fill out, and then they sent me another one. So, you know, now I'm like getting hounded by the sperm clinic. And I don't know if they've looked me up on Facebook or, um, you know, they've just got a gut feeling that my sperm is incredible. The price, 35 quid a pop. Get lost. I need a triple digits or I'm not even coming in. So get the checkbook out, ladies and gentlemen. If you want this, you've got to pay for it, okay? I wonder what... um, you know, I wonder what people actually like. I wonder what they think, or like the people walking in there. Because I bet I've got a picture on my head of the people that are donating sperm regularly, and um, I'm going to be honest. I won't want to catch. I won't want them to pick me up on the way home. Put it that way. Um, but if, I feel like as soon as I answer that questionnaire and I put, you know, my height, my eye color, my hair color. Uh, I feel like they're gonna be uh, they're gonna be kicking the bloody door down, even more than they are now. And they've just got they're just looking at my name and they're that that, that thrilled about it. So I'm just trying to weigh up my options, you know. Maybe hold out for a better for a better signing bonus. But it's a very uh, it's a very tricky thing to navigate these waters, these uh, sticky waters. You know, thinking donating all the sperm, going through all of that, and then getting an email like. Dear Mr. Wayne, we are writing to lo- to you to let you know that your sample of sperm has been destroyed. After a search of the computer browsing history you used to donate your sample, we're quite frankly disgusted and would not like to pass on any of your genetics. We don't. We believe women getting hit by cars. <laughs> the guy that's like goes in there and uh, is looking up the porn. The porn that he's watching to donate is the most like disgusting, you know, sh- just shit in the world. You know, Brazilian women getting farted on is not the sort of uh, idea we had in mind for a uh, sperm donor. And you know, they have to <laughs> they literally throw the sperm donation in the fucking incinerator at the back of the hospital because you know they're so freaked out about this dude. It's so funny, like, <laughs> being like, you know, how crazy porn is and stuff like that. But porn is so, you know, crazy. You can't just watch, a lot of men aren't just watching, you know, your typical, you know, 1v1 team deathmatch anymore. They're watching, you know, a five on one, you know, real sick stuff. I'm going to be honest, guys, what's going on. You just have to look at the uh, the most popular porn. But it's so funny to like, they give you like a magazine, you go in there like, and they're like, give you a magazine and you're like, are you joking? Are you joking? I need a, um, I need a flashlight. I need VR goggles. I need lubricant. I need a lot of bandwidth and I need six hours. Well, it's a weird thing, isn't it? Imagine having kids that you don't even know about. I wonder if what, what girls would think if you're like laid in bed and like, oh yeah, God, I remember when I donated sperm in my 20s. And they like look at you like you've just shit the bed and started eating it in front of them. Would that be a turn off, ladies? <laughs> you know, over the past two months, and I, I don't think this is a podcast. This is kind of just my food for thought. I'm putting on a verbal buffet for anybody who cares to listen. And you can come around, pick up a little bit, maybe take a couple of plates. It's all you can eat, baby. 
maybe you don't finish that. Maybe take it home for your dog. Let your dog have a listen to it. You know, I make, f I make, I make content for animals and humans, and um, you know, I won't call it a podcast. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe if I could actually string together something longer than fifteen minutes of thoughts, maybe it'd be a podcast. But you know, there's a couple of people that I know that I've seen on you know Instagram or Facebook who's started podcasts, and um, you know, more power to him. I don't have the the um, the confidence to even tell anybody that I do this or even post it on any social media. I'm trying to do this completely separate, you know, from anybody in my life ever known. Because I think the actual thought of one of my friends listening to this or somebody of my loved ones, because I say some pretty stupid shit, man. Imagine, imagine, you know, you know that last five minutes where I was just talking about donating sperm. If anybody even heard that, that I knew, they'd think less of me. Yeah, so two of these... To these people that I know, and um, you know, these two people I've never really heard say, and they were, you know, I wasn't, I know from school, they weren't in my year, but I've had conversations with them, and let me be honest, <laughs> I don't think these two could have a good thought if, you know, if I gave them a lifetime to think of something, but you know, it's fun to see them doing it, it's fun to see them doing it, but really, it just makes me really, really really just want to eat a cat because you think of some of your people that you know and you think oh you should do it he's actually um flourishing a flourishing young man that person's actually a, a girl that has a unique perspective um you know not the quiet whore <laughs> i've actually um actually was like on the computer the other day and i was like damn how funny would it be to donate sperm to 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 have people that you don't even know that are your kids that, that maybe live around the area I don't know but I, I, and I thought okay I'll, I'll indulge this little this little this little thought of mine so I went on the website and it was the hospital that I was born in that was doing it so I was like huh, imagine that so I thought well, I'll I'll work my email in the in the in the you know contact list and it was like put your email here put a little message and send. So I just put my email and put sperm. 